I love Colorado. I mean, they got so much going on here, especially the food scene. I mean, who could forget Fat Sully's? Give me some pie. Then you got Lauer Crops. Love that place. So there's no doubt that these guys got a Korean restaurant, and not just any Korean restaurant. This one's off the hook. This is Deji Korean Barbecue. Kimchi chicken. If you want authentic Korean food, this is definitely the place to come to. Beef torso. This is just overwhelmingly delicious. You get to come here and cook it on the grill, and it's just an experience. I'll eat everything they put in front of me. Which is just how owner Joe Kim wants it. Someone says, OK, I'm going to go to Deji. Mm -hmm. Oh, that place you pig out. There was a few things I was expecting him to tell me. Pig out was not one of them. But that's exactly what his customers have been doing since he and his mother-in-law heated up the hibachis in 2010. What makes it so dynamite? All you can eat. A limited barbecue. Every different kind of meat you can imagine they bring out. Just covered with sides. There's nonstop food coming. You just keep eating, and it's awesome. What are we making first? We're going to make the beef bulgogi first. What does bulgogi mean? Pul means fire, and then kogi means meat. Fire meat. Yeah. We got the water. This is the sauce for the bulgogi. Right. The garlic. The onions. Pineapples. Got the apples. Apples? Yeah. OK. The soy sauce. Sugar. Black pepper. Sesame oil. Yeah. And most importantly, soju. Soju. Kind of uh, Korean spirit. Yeah. So you got to put it in there now? Yeah. Hey, what meat is this? A ribeye. You slice it thin. Mm -hmm. How long are we going to let that marinate? 12 hours. 12 hours? Yeah. What are we making next? Chicken bulgogi. Some garlic, soybean oil, sesame oil, ginger, black peppers, sugar, soy sauce, and soju. So you just put a little bit in? Yeah. <laughs> Over the chicken? Yeah. 24 hours? Yep. Next, we're going to make the deji sauce. Deji sauce. Deji sauce yeah. So this is like the house sauce. House sauce. Yeah. Kind of like the Korean Thousand Island. Exactly. Put it on everything. The soy sauce, the vinegar, sugar, soybean oil. OK. Get some corn syrup. That's what you use in your hair, huh? Oh, yeah. Sesame seed and Korean red peppers. And that's the bags of Korean red pepper you have up there. Absolutely. I'll be stealing them. Yeah. <laughs> Next step, what are we making? Kimchi. Is that like the french fries to the burger? Absolutely. So first, the Napa cabbage. We're going to cut into fourths. Salt it. Wow, you got that process down. And we'll let it sit for 12 hours. Now yeah. let's make the marinade. We're going to add some onions, garlic, a little shrimps. A little shrimp. Scrimps. Scrimps. Yeah, yeah. Add some daikon radish. Ginger. A little bit of rice, just to tighten it up. Yeah. Some uh, seafood broth, fish sauce. And, and then, then some of the green red peppers. That I'm stealing. Yep. And then we're going to add some sugar. OK. We get the cabbage. It's already been rinsed and strained. And then just kind of go at it. Where did you learn this? My mother-in-law. She had a restaurant in Hawaii for about 15, 20 years. What's next? We're going to make some kimchi pancakes. Of course we are. Yeah, yeah. This is a kimchi that's been fermenting for about a month right now. All right. And this is just one of the side dish items that comes out. Correct. Well, tofu? Yeah. Jalapenos and the onions. You're right. As soon as that's pureed, add some sugar, add some Korean red peppers. That's what's in your hair. I knew it. <laughs> Egg? Yeah. Some potato starch. Potato starch? Yep. Then we're going to add some flour. AP? Yep. All right. And these are going to get fried up? Sauteed, yep. Yeah. So actually, there's another side that we're going to make, which is a fish case. That's, that's <laughs> awesome. We'll eat next week. All right, we got the wok. Heat that up. There's some BTUs, baby. We're going to add some onions, some green onions, carrots, jalapenos. OK. Add some garlic. Stir that a little bit. Fish cakes. Soy sauce, some black peppers. Add some sure. sugar. Yeah. Corn syrup, seafood broth, crushed red peppers, and then Korean red peppers. Top it off with some uh, sesame oil. And that's it. If you're a meat eater, you should definitely come eat it. Protein heaven. You can always find something that you like, and if you like something, you tell them to bring more. You're involved in what you're cooking, and you can socialize and enjoy food and share it with everyone. If you're going to have a haircut like that, you better back it up. Yeah, absolutely. Legit, buddy. All right, man. Legit. <laughs> Keep looking.